Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. Here you can see, I have already imported the files required for this project. You can download them from below link in the description. Now let's see how to create our text animation, create a new composition. I will name it as text animation. For this composition, I will set the time duration to, 5 seconds. Perfect. Now let's add the text. Here you are free to add any text of your choice. Here I will be using Optimus Princeps font family. Download link for this font is provided in the description. Increase the font size. Here for this text, I will be making few changes. I will increase the font size of the first letter. Now I will add the other text. For this text layer, I will reduce the font size, and I will place it above the main text layer. Here I will add all the text and arrange them. Perfect, all the text layers are added. Now select the pen tool. Make sure the fill option is set to, none. For stroke, stroke option is set to, solid color. Now create a straight line as shown. I will set the stroke value to, 4, perfect. Now let's see how to animate the text, for the main text layer. From animate, select enable per character 3D. From animate, add rotation. Go at 2 seconds, create keyframe for Y rotation. Now at start of the timer line, change Y rotation value to, 90 degrees. You can see the preview. Add 1 second, for the text layer, press T to bring up opacity, create keyframe for opacity. Now at start, change opacity to, 0%. You can see the preview. Similarly, we will do the same for other text layers. Enable per character 3D. Add rotation. Add 2 seconds. Create keyframe for Y rotation. At the start, change the rotation to, 90 degrees. For text layer, press T to bring up opacity, at 1 second, create keyframe for opacity. Now at start, change opacity to, 0%. Perfect, you can see the preview of our main text layers. 
Now for all remaining text layers. Press T to bring up opacity, at 2 seconds, create keyframe for opacity. Now at start of the timer line, change opacity to, 0%. Let's place these text layers at, 1 second. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now select all the text layers. Pre-compose them. I will name it as text composition. Perfect. From project panel, let's add the reflection map image to the timer line. Scale it to, 50%. For this map image, in effects and preset, search for CC Reptile. Add it to the reflection map image. Change tiling to, unfold. Now increase the expand value for all the directions till it covers the full screen. Perfect. Now in effects and preset, search for offset. Add it to the map image. At start of the timeline, create keyframe for shift center. Now at end of the timeline, change the center value as shown. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now let's pre-compose this media layer. Here I will name it as glass. Select move all attributes into new composition. Place this composition below text composition. For glass composition, change track mat to alpha mat text composition. Now for this glass composition, in effects and preset, search for CC glass. Add it to the glass composition. For glass, in surface, change bump map to, text composition. Change softness to, 45. Now change height to, minus 50. Change displacement to, minus 400. In light, change light type to, point light. Adjust the light position. Perfect, for glass composition. In effects and preset, search for CC blob eyes, add it to the glass composition. In blowiness, change blob layer to text composition. Change softness to, 8. Now change cutaway to, 3. In light, change light type to, point light. Here you are free to adjust the light position. Now in effects and preset, search for curves. Add it to the glass composition. Now you need to adjust the curves as shown. Perfect. Now from project panel, let's create the composition of the flare. Drag it over this composition icon. This will create flare composition. Go to composition setting. Here we will change the composition time duration to 2 seconds. For this flare media file, press R to bring up the rotation, at start, create keyframe for rotation. Now at end of the timer line, change rotation to 90 degrees. You can see the preview. Now for flare, press S to bring up the scale, at 20 frames. Create keyframe for scale. At start, change scale value to 0%. Now at 1 second and 10 frames, create keyframe for scale. At end of the timer line, change scale value to 0%. You can see the preview. Now we will add this flare composition into our text animation composition. You can see the flare. 
Here you are free to adjust the flare position. You can place it wherever you want according to your text. Scale this flare composition. Here you can create multiple duplicates and place them on the timeline at different positions. Perfect. Here I have created 5 flares for my text, now select all the composition layers. Pre-compose them, I will name it as glass text composition. Now let's add the light media file to the timeline, place it below the text composition, this will be our background layer. Now add the smoke media file to the timeline, Press T to bring up the opacity. Add 1 second, create keyframe for opacity. Now at start, set opacity to 0%. For smoke media file, change mode to soft light. Now let's create duplicate of this smoke media composition. For duplicate, change mode to, overlay. For below smoke, change track mat to, luma mat smoke. Here we will change our text composition to 3D. Now let's create a new camera layer. Now create a new null object. Change null object to 3D. Now parent camera to null object. For null, press P to bring up the position. At end of the timeline, create keyframe for the position. Here if you want you can adjust the position value for z-axis. Now at start, reduce the position value of z-axis to near about minus 2000. Let's see the complete preview. Perfect. Here our text animation is created. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial.